Hello, my name is Jenny, and I am a young woman full of dreams and determination. A few months ago, I made the most important decision of my life to move to London to improve my English language skills. Let me tell you a little about how it all began. Since I was a child, I have always been fascinated by the English language. The sound of the words, the richness of the expressions, and the vastness of the stories told in this language enchanted me. So when the opportunity arose to immerse myself in this linguistic and cultural universe, I didn't hesitate to seize it. My journey began with a simple train ride on a sunny summer morning. As I sat there, nervous and excited, looking out the window, two smiling faces caught my attention. They were two women, seemingly British, who were sitting on the other side of the aisle. Without knowing exactly what propelled me, I decided to initiate a conversation with them. It was a challenge, after all. My English was far from fluent. But to my surprise, the women were incredibly receptive and understanding. With patience, they helped me find the right words and express my thoughts. This warm and encouraging interaction was the starting point for a series of events that would change my life forever. That's how my learning journey began. The two women on the train were like rays of sunshine on a cloudy day. Their gentle smiles gave me the courage to start a conversation, even though my English was still in its infancy. Hello, my name is Jenny, I said with a timid smile. I'm learning English. They looked at me with interest, and I could feel my heartbeat quicken. Would they understand my basic English? I touched my chest and said, Jenny, while pointing at them and asking, what's your name? They smiled and replied that their names were Sarah and Emily. Our conversation started slowly with simple words and gestures. I tried to express my thoughts as best as I could, and they helped me understand what they were saying. Where are you from? I asked, curious. They explained that they were from England and were returning from a conference. I was impressed and felt lucky to be sitting next to them. Despite the language difficulties, our conversation flowed, and soon time flew by. When my stop arrived, I felt a pang in my heart as I said goodbye to them. Before leaving, we exchanged contacts. They gave me their address and phone number, inviting me to visit them in London. Thank you, I said gratefully. I hope to see you again. With warm smiles, they waved as the train departed. I knew that this encounter was just the beginning, and I was already eager for the opportunity to see them again. After that meeting on the train, I decided to dedicate myself even more to studying English. Every day, I committed to learning something new, whether it was reading books, watching movies, or practicing with language learning apps. With determination and perseverance, I saw my English gradually improve. Words that once seemed confusing and distant now made more sense. I felt more confident in expressing myself and better understood the conversations around me. Six months had passed since that encounter on the train, and looking back, I was surprised at how much I had progressed. I was no longer the insecure and hesitant person who embarked on this journey. Now I was Jenny, the determined student who was ready to face new challenges and pursue her dreams in London. But it was all just beginning. With a smile on my face and a heart full of hope, I knew there was still much to learn and discover in this vibrant city full of opportunities. And so, with firm steps and bright eyes, I continued my journey into the unknown, ready to embrace everything the future held for me. My learning journey in London was just beginning, but I knew I needed more. I decided it was time to take it a step further and commit to a more formal study of English. With renewed determination, I began researching language schools in the city. After much searching, I found one that seemed perfect for me. I enrolled and scheduled my first class for the following Monday. On the day of, I walked into the classroom with a mix of nervousness and excitement. I looked around and saw unfamiliar faces, all with the same goal as mine, mastering English. That's when I met my teacher, a friendly and energetic young woman. She welcomed us warmly, and we soon began introducing ourselves. Hello, my name is Jenny, I said timidly. The teacher smiled and welcomed me warmly. As the other students introduced themselves, I felt the energy in the room growing. Everyone there was eager to learn, and I knew I was in the right place. The teacher started the class with a simple question, one that would shape our entire learning journey. What do you think is most important when learning a new language? 
That question made everyone in the room reflect on their own experiences and expectations. And it was with that simple question that our learning journey truly began. The teacher smiled as she listened attentively to our responses to the initial question. With a confident expression, she began to share with us her unique teaching approach. I want to introduce you to a very effective method for learning English, she began. It's a simple yet powerful method. She explained that she wouldn't have a study in the traditional way, focusing on grammar and textbooks. Instead, she would encourage us to use English in our daily lives, in every possible situation. The secret to learning a new language isn't just in studying theory, she explained. It's in using the language, in speaking, listening, reading, and writing in English whenever possible. Those words resonated with me in a powerful way. I had always found it difficult to learn from books and grammar rules, but the idea of learning through practice and experience seemed much more natural and engaging. Our goal will be to use English to communicate and express our ideas and feelings, she continued. We'll speak a lot, read interesting texts, listen to music, and watch movies in English. The more we use the language, the more natural it will become for us. Those words filled my heart with hope and enthusiasm. I had finally found a teaching method that seemed to fit perfectly with my way of learning. With a smile on my face, I prepared to dive headfirst into this new learning approach. After explaining the teaching method, our teacher moved on to discuss the importance of reading and expanding vocabulary. Yes. And now, let's talk about how we can learn new words effectively, she said, directing our attention to the screen where she projected a presentation. She explained that reading is one of the most powerful ways to acquire new vocabulary in a language. When we read, we are exposed to a variety of words and expressions in natural contexts, she explained. By the end of the class, I felt excited to incorporate shadowing into my study routine. I knew this technique would be crucial for improving my pronunciation and getting closer to fluency in English. With a new set of tools in hand, I eagerly awaited opportunities to practice and refine my language skills. After the exciting class, I decided to explore more opportunities to practice English outside the classroom. I went to the school reception and inquired about available extracurricular activities. The receptionist, a friendly woman named Laura, smiled when she saw me and promptly offered some options. We have various activities for students, including sports and social events, she explained. I'm interested in sports activities. I responded enthusiastically. Could you tell me more about that? Laura informed me that the school had a table tennis team and a soccer team, both open for students to join. Soccer, in particular, had regular practices and games against other teams in the city. Hearing about the opportunity to play soccer got me excited. It was a perfect way to practice English while exercising and having fun. When are the soccer practices? I asked. They happen every Thursday afternoon at 5 p.m. at the field near the school, Laura replied. With a smile on my face, I thanked Laura and said goodbye. I knew I had found a great way to practice English outside the classroom and make new friends in the process. I couldn't wait for my first soccer practice next week. The adventure was just beginning, and I was ready to embrace all the opportunities London had to offer. The day of my first soccer practice with the school team arrived. As I made my way to the field, I felt a mix of nervousness and excitement. Not only was I eager to practice sports, but also to meet my new teammates. Upon arrival, I was greeted by a diverse group of players, each with their own story and cultural background. Among them were Miguel, a skilled player from Spain, Yuki, a determined player from Japan, and Carlos, a charismatic goalkeeper from Argentina. Despite our cultural and linguistic differences, we quickly discovered a shared passion for the sport and a willingness to help each other improve. During practices, we shared tips and techniques, laughed together, and celebrated our successes. Off the soccer field, we also began to meet outside of school, whether for a coffee after classes or to explore London's landmarks together on weekends. These moments of camaraderie were crucial for my integration into the city and for the development of my social and personal skills. Each day, I felt more confident and comfortable in my new life in London. Not only was I learning English, but I was also forging bonds with people from different parts of the world. It was an enriching experience that I knew I would cherish forever. With the support of my new friends and teammates, I was ready to continue my learning and growth in London, 
eager to discover what else this exciting city had to offer. As my journey in London continued, I reflected on the incredible progress I had made since the day I arrived in the city. What began as a simple desire to learn English had turned into an unforgettable adventure filled with new friendships, enriching experiences, and challenges overcome. Thanks to the support of my inspiring teacher, encouraging classmates, and dedicated teammates, my confidence in the English language had grown exponentially. Not only could I communicate more fluently, but I also understood the importance of using the language to express my ideas and feelings authentically. Furthermore, my participation in the school soccer team not only allowed me to improve my athletic skills, but also provided me with moments of camaraderie and connection with people from different cultures and backgrounds. As I bid farewell to my English school and the friends I made there, I knew that my learning journey was just beginning. With a heart full of gratitude and determination, I said goodbye to London, knowing that I would carry with me the lessons learned and precious memories for a lifetime. As I embarked on the next chapter of my life, I was filled with hope and enthusiasm for what the future held. With English as my tool and London as my temporary home, I was ready to face any challenge that came my way. And so, with a smile on my lips and a twinkle in my eye, I bid farewell to London, ready to continue my journey of growth, discovery, and learning wherever life took me. If your goal is to achieve fluency in English, try practicing thinking aloud. Additionally, when you are dedicated to learning English, it's important to read, listen, reflect, and converse regularly. Allocate 40 minutes to each of these activities daily. You can engage with various types of materials in English, such as stories, podcasts, and videos. And remember, the narration in this video is provided by English Tales Training.